Hi, this is a quick tutorial on how to edit the file for Fusion 360. Uh, this tutorial is made for people who never used uh, Fusion 360 or are not used to play with the power methods in Fusion 360. So I will apologize in advance for my English because I may do some some uh, errors uh, during. Uh, this video and this is because I'm not a native uh, speaker and with no further ado let's go to Fusion 360. So if you open uh, the files in Fusion 360 this is where you will be and here in the bottom you have the timeline of the, the project so you can go back between the, to, uh, the, between the different steps of the design. And uh, I have a, a little um, note for this, this uh, last one step. Uh, this, this last step is the um, most um, task demanding for the computer. So if you have issue with performance issue when editing the files, uh, you can just go one step back and edit the file uh, like so, and change the parameters like so, uh, because you, there is no issue uh, at all at, uh, to do that, and you will have uh, enough information to see if the design is correct and uh, suits uh, you need. So, to access the parameters, uh, you need to be on the design workspace, design workspace, modify, change parameters you can add if you want the parameters in the toolbar or in the shortcut menu and the shortcut menu is accessible when you press the s key on the keyboard so press s you have the parameters i will clean the view okay so in this panel you have the user parameters and the model parameters, those are all the value uh, set in this uh, different step. We will not use them, only use the user parameter. So I like to sort them by name. So what's the different uh, option you have here? Uh, first is the total height of the volume, let's say 200. Uh, after that, you have the small section 8, which is uh, this part from this line to the top. Um, uh, let's say 100. The groove depth. Uh, don't play with this value. Uh, this is uh, automatically calculated. So normally you will not have to to play with this value. The groove count, uh, I will um, recommend you to not edit uh, this value for for the time being, uh, only at, at the end of the editing, because this, like I said earlier, this is the most demanding task, so don't play with it yet. Um, the diameter of the base, let's say 100. You can also add the chamfer. There is a chamfer on the top part and the bottom part. So let's say six. You can set another the, another value for the top section, the small section part uh, chamfer. It says zero. I don't want any chamfer on the top. And uh, you can also change uh, this value, but uh, honestly, uh, that may throw some error. So uh, play with it uh, gently. Don't be too too harsh on the volume. So now we have a, a volume. That's cool. Uh, I I will decrease. A little bit this one 
so I have 100, uh, maybe 80, so. Okay. No, uh, I want something a little bit. 75. 75 is not bad. I want to add some chamfer now. Uh, some uh, grooves. Let's say 32. Okay, here we have a little issue, a visual issue at least. Um, this is because the difference between those two is too big. So I will increase it a little bit the diameter of the small section. Still a little bit too, too small. 78. And here we go. So, when you are happy with the design, uh, you can click OK. And to export the geometry, you can select one face, click on file and 3D print. So it's already selected. Uh, I recommend you for the refinement to set it to high and for the option to uh, for the output option, uh, you can check this box and select your slicer directly or search for for the the slicer you use. In, in my case, it's a super slicer, so I click OK and it would be sent it to. So I, I had a previous model, so it's now in super slicer and you have your model. So, quick tip if you want to, you can print it in the other way, in this orientation. There will be no issue to to print uh, the model in this two orientation. So I hope uh, that was uh, helpful and you learned something. If you have any further questions, uh, don't hesitate to post them, uh, to post a comment or a make on the printables. And uh, please consider to follow me on printables, uh, so you will be. Uh, Stay tuned for further updates and uh, other projects I'm working on. Bye-bye.